This video is best viewed in higher definition. To enable, click the Settings button at the bottom of the page, just here. Then click the drop down box under Quality. And then select the highest definition offered, in this case 720HD. Enjoy the video. So now we're going to look at the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the 8th button, which is uh, timed exits. And I'll explain what the inputs on this screen allow you to do. Basically, the inputs on the screen allow you to manage any open trade by applying uh, specific actions at specific times. And also, this screen will allow you to close a trade and deactivate all PP lines, either now or a date in the future or a time in the future. So I'll go on and explain that shortly. So first of all, let's look at the, the top here. You've got an option of selecting up to three precise times. So you can these are times you can pick in advance. When you're set on a new operation, you can choose up to three times where specific events will occur. So in this instance, uh, I've only selected one time, which is management time one. So at 12.46, I'm saying I want at 12.46 and for the following two minutes, so it's actually at a specific time of 12.46, the EA will start looking to apply the actions I've said below here and it will continue to try and apply them for the following two minutes. So from 12.46 until, in this instance, 12.48. I've not selected management times for the other two times and you'll notice there's an X in here which you haven't seen anywhere else. This is just something I found useful. It's just a reminder you haven't got a time set here. And because of that, if you want to change these times, if you just over type, say, 1300 there, entered it and applied, it wouldn't apply. You need to have this ticked as well. Oops, sorry. You need to have this ticked as well to apply a time. It's just like a safety thing so that you've got to have this ticked and enter a number and then apply for these to be accepted. Otherwise, if you haven't got this ticked, I'll just show you. So if I, I've entered 1300, there you go, and I've entered it. If I apply that now, without this being ticked, and I'll come back up again, it's gone back to the X. So you need to have this ticked and also enter a new time. There's the interval. Don't forget it. Then apply for that action to be changed. It's just so you can't, by mistake, leave a time in here. If you've left them on from a previous time or forgotten, etc., it can have an impact on an open trade. So let's put X there. To that again, apply. And then it's back to X. So just remember that when you're changing these two times, or any of these management times, they have to be selected to make a change. Obviously, you can deselect them afterwards. So I've chosen here 1246. How would I use this? Well, there's uh, a number of different ways you can use these management times. One is on a session session change. Difficult getting there. Put my ticks back in. So 1246 with the broker I've got here. The US session, as you can see here, which is where it just starts to go grey, it starts at 1300, 1 o'clock. So what I'm doing here is at 12.46, so that's just on this candle here, which is the, the 12.45 to the 1300 candle. So just after this candle is opened, I'm telling the, the EA to potentially carry out the actions I've described below. And what I'm dealing with is where I've got a trade open in the London session, because I know when the New York session opens, there's a chance for manipulation to take place. And I might want to take actions with any open trade I've got to protect the position I've got. That's one way in which you might use it when there's a session change, say, between London and New York. Another time, if there's a major news event coming up. Say there's a news event coming up at 1500 um, and you wanted to make sure that any open trade you had was protected against that news event. So if it was at 1500, you might put uh, 14, 
I'm mode 46. Enter, don't forget you've got to tick this to change it. So let's click that, apply. And let's open it again. So now we've got, we've got a management time at 14.46. The reason I put 46 is that is the bar before the event. So in that case, let's have a look here. So if we look down here, um, where's 1500? There we are. That's, that's the 1500 candle there. To say the news of the event was going to occur there, what I'm saying is on the open of the candle before, which is at 14.45, a minute into that candle, then take these actions if you can. So that's why I'm doing it just before the event, the candle before. Obviously, you could do it a minute before and put it at 14.59 if you wanted to. Again, it's just a, a choice for you. So that's how that, that's how you set the management times. And at each of these management times, the EIA, once it gets to those times and for the following two minutes, it will try to apply the instructions you've given here if it can. So let's have a look at the instructions you can give. Again, they're all optional. There's three here. And two. Three. We'll talk about this one in a minute. So there's one, two, three potential actions. The first action is if your open trade is not yet at break even or more. So if it's not at break even or more, then you're instructing the EA to move your stop loss to break even. So if you've got an open trade and the stop loss is not yet at break even or more, then you're instructing the EA to move your stop loss to the break even level. Or do you just come away from the screen? If you remember, let's go to the stop loss screen. The break even level is what you've set here. So if you've got zero in there, it will be to your entry price. In this situation, the break even level, it'll be at plus two profit. So it'll be two pips into profit from your entry price because that's what I set. And if you remember, if you've seen the other video, I set mine at two so it covers all the commissions and other costs that I have for trading. So this is the first one at 12.46 the EA will look and it will continue to look until 12.48 and if you have an open trade and it's not at break even or more it will move the stop loss to break even whichever that break even level is as I just showed you. The second thing it will do if you've selected it it will close the trade if there is profit of equal to or greater than in this instance 20 pips so if the trade is already at a point which is at 20 pips or more in profit it will at 12 between 1246 and 1248 if it gets into that position where it's at 20 pips or more profit it will close the trade the whole position will be closed the last one is instructing you to close the entire position if current price from your current stop loss is equal to or less than 10 pips. So if your stop loss is within 10 pips of current price, what you're telling the EA to do is to close the entire position. Now it could be, if the stop loss has not moved from its original position, that this is a negative figure. You're actually closing the position at a negative value. But the reason you're using this is that your expectation is if the stop loss is only 10 pips away from current price, then the expectation is, is that with the manipulation that may take place in the new session, which is just coming up, you think that manipulation may hit your stop loss. So what you're saying is rather than take that risk, I'll just close the position now. Of course, you don't have to do that. Um, you don't need to do any of them. I should mention that, so what could happen if you've got these two here both ticked let's say your stop loss is not currently at the break even level so at 12.46 the EA checks and sees all right it's not at break even level but the trade is in some profit I can move therefore the stop loss to the break even level so it carries out this instruction it moves the stop loss to break even level however after moving it it then becomes within 10 pips of current price so it's only say eight pips away then what it would do it then close the position so it'd move it to break even and then close it at the current price which would say plus eight so bear that in mind that if you've got both those selected it will carry this out first 
but this one will still apply for the next two minutes. So they could have two actions taking place under these criteria. So just to run over them again very quickly, you've got three types of management time or three options to set management time. They are precise times. If you want to change the times from an X or any changes within here, they have to be ticked as live to make the change. If you try and change them when they're unticked, they will not change. So you can choose up to three different times. They may be at session changes for uh, the end of day trading, maybe on a news event. You can pick them for whatever you want. Once they're set, the EA, when these times arrive, it will look to take the actions that you've instructed below here. And it will continue to look to apply these instructions for two minutes after the precise times you put here. So for 12.46 to 12.48, from 14.46 to 14.48. So you keep looking for the next two minutes. Instructions you can do, the first one, is this one. If your current trade, if the stop loss is not yet at break even or more, then it will move the stop loss to the break even level. The second one is if your your current trade is in profit equal or greater than this figure here, which in this case is 20 pips. So if it's at 20 pips or more, it will close the entire position. It could be at 12.46, it's only in 18 pips in profit. And then within the next two minutes, it actually does go to 20 pips in profit, in which case at that time, it will close the entire position. And the third one is instructing the EA to close the entire position if current price gets within, in this case, 10 pips of your current stop loss. So if current price is equal to or less than 10 pips from your current stop loss, then it will close the entire position. And remember the point that the EA could move it to break even first, therefore move your stop loss to break even level. And that may then mean that it becomes within 10 pips of the current price. So the entire position would be closed then. So first we would move to break even. Then because it was then within 10 pips of the current price, the entire position would be closed. So hopefully that explains them. And the last input on this page is time to exit all. So if you enter a time here and you activate it by ticking this button, this radio button, then at this time, at 21.31, all positions will be closed and any non-deactivated PP lines will be deactivated. So if you've got some lines that have not yet been hit or got some that are actually in the active state, then they will automatically be deactivated. So basically it's shutting down everything. So how I use this feature is I set my exit all time just about half hour before the close of the trading day. Now if you wanted to, you could type in the word, if you came back home and you just wanted to close everything, you could type in the word N-O-W and apply, that would close everything. Or you can go in and if you want to set a date and time in advance, you can put the, as it says here, the year, the 2015, and then a dot, the month, 01, and a dot, and let's say um, on the 31st, of the 1st, and then a gap, and then the time at 2300, and then apply it, and then on the 31st of the 1st, of 2015, at 2300, it will exit everything. I can't see many circumstances where you might want to do it that way, but well, the facility's there if you want to. The majority of time, all you're going to do is put a time in there and apply that, and that's going to be the time everything will be closed. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, the next video I'm going to be doing will be covering your trading times and your session times.